During Cyber Monday on WWE's website, I ordered Nikki Bella's other hat. I have her black one that says Fearless Nikki. Um, and I ordered Paige's gloves because um, of all pa I already have a Paige shirt, but I wanted something kind of like Nikki's hat that I can just wear around wherever I want. So that's why I got her gloves. Um, I was supposed to get a can cooler that says this is awesome. But it didn't come in the package that I got um, my hat and my gloves in. Um, if you want to see, I did an unboxing video. Um, I'll link it so you can watch that. But yeah, hopefully in this haul you'll see the damn can cooler. Otherwise, I'm going to be very pissed. Um, I got in contact with shop.com. Um, they basically let me know that it's weird that I didn't get it and they're looking into it. So hopefully I'll get a can cooler soon. So when I got this, I totally forgot to show you guys, but I got Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I didn't even know this was coming out this month. So that was a shock for me when I went to the store and saw it. It was cool, they got the edition that comes with this bracelet right here, and I'll take it out so you can see it. But it says, Stay Peculiar. Here, hold on first. Let's see how... You see? Cool. But yeah, stay peculiar. Another quick thing is actually something I did get today. I got this cheap little ring at work today. It's a V from my last name. I saw a, a customer didn't want it and um, so I kind of hid it in my bin under my register so I could get it after work. And yeah, I like it. It's cool. Got two new things today. Got Grace Vanderwall's album, Reflective a Little. It's called Perfectly Imperfect. There's only uh, six songs on it, but and I've listened to it on um, Spotify, and it's amazing, so... What? So, yeah. Then, I got Series 8 Part 2. So, it's a day early, but I got my first Christmas present today from my best, one of my best friends, Tiara. And she brought in this cute little bag. So, she got me, first of all, Legend by Marie Lou. And I've already read Legend. And I love Legend. I I really wanted to have the physical copy of the books. I have the trilogy on my Kindle. And I'm probably going to finish the, the trilogy on my Kindle. But having the physical copy, the real, I, I'm really happy to have it. Because one of the things I guess I feel I missed out on with reading it on my Kindle is... I don't know how well you're going to see it in this light. But you know, June, her chapters are the normal kind of font. Just the black print, you know. And then Day's chapters are all colored by the, the the cover of the book. See, Dave's chapter, they're kind of gold uh, font coloring like the cover. And, you know, with um, Prodigy and Champion, you know, Dave's chapter, they're blue, and in Champion, Dave's chapter, they're red. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to own the physical, because besides the fact that I think these covers are really gorgeous, like, I really love the covers of these books. So I really wanted to get the physical ones, not only because I do love the books, so I want the physical copies, but I love that the uh, Dave's chapters are colored based on the main color on the covers, so... I'm so happy she got me the first one. Now I just need to get a Prodigy and Chief. Then the other thing she got me was Season 5 of Glee. I currently have the first three seasons, and I've always been very iffy if I was going to get Seasons 4 through 6, but then I've decided I am one of those people that even if I'm not a big fan of later seasons, I want to own the whole series. Like, I have all eight seasons of Charmed, and I'm not a big fan of Seasons 6 through 8. I don't think they were that great. I think it kind of went downhill from there. But I still own them because I won the whole series. So I feel like that's going to be the same with Glee. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of series of seasons 4 through 6, and I felt like the se series kind of went downhill from after season 3, I still want to own them. So she got me season 5, so now I just need 4 and 6, and I will have all of Glee, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Like I said, not my favorite season, but I still want to own the whole show. So, yeah. So, first of my Christmas presents right here. It's Christmas, and it's time to show you what I got for Christmas. So first I got um, one CD this year, and that is Andy Black's CD, um, The Shadow Side. I'm a big Black Veil Brides fan, um, so when I found out Andy had come out with his own album, I'd listened to a couple tracks. To me, it's a, it's a different sound from what he did in Black Veil Brides, but I really like it, so... I can't wait to listen to the rest of the album. Then I got two movies, both from my brother. First, I got um, 
The Taming of the Shrew, who starred Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. I've been wanting this movie for a long time. I love this movie. Um, I especially love Elizabeth Taylor in it, so yeah, and it's reflecting horribly. The other movie he got me was Why Did I Get Married? This is probably this and um, The Family That Prays. It's probably my favorite Tyler Perry movies. I still need to get The Family That Prays, but yes. So happy to have this. I don't know if I'll ever get the sequel. Like, I like the sequel, but it's not, like, as good to me as the first one, but whatever. Then, I got some TV shows, because, you know, I like TV shows. First one is from my parents. They got me the third season of Game of Thrones. Um, I have the first two, so I'm happy to f have the third one. I've been meaning to get it for a while, so I'm glad to finally have the third season. Then my brother got me the third season of Rizzoli and Isles. Love the show. Plan to get the whole show when eventually. I think all the seasons are out on DVD now, but I don't know for sure. But yeah. And then he also got me the second season of iZombie. I got um, this ha this I got the second season watched halfway through and then something happened and I couldn't finish the season so I'm happy to finally own it so I can um, finish this season so that way when season three premieres I'll be ready. And then lastly, lastly, I got some books. The first one I got from my brother and it is the the 100 by Cass Morgan. I obviously love the show, but I've wanted to read the books to see because I know I've heard, I've heard that the books are very different from the show, and also the show is better than the books. So I'm interested to read and form my own opinion. But yes, then my parents got me the Princess Diaries by Carrie Fisher. Um, I got into Star Wars this year, but I've always known who Carrie Fisher was, so I'm really interested to read about her and learn more about Carrie Fisher as a person. And then the other one I got was Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick. I love Anna Kendrick. She's hilarious and one of my favorite people. So I can't wait to read about her. And then my brother also got me Selena, the little pop figure of Selena Kyle. Now I have Oswald and Selena. And I think that's all I'm gonna get for Gotham Pops. Those were the two I mainly wanted. I kinda want fish, but I'm not I'm not really one hundred percent in love with the 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 design of Fish's Pop, but we'll see. But as for the one they really wanted, Oswald and Selena, I have them now. Look at her. She's so cute. I'd say I'd had a pretty good Christmas. What do you guys think? Thank you.